Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 7 of One Drag Priority. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. So, um, Momo, your, um, is your uncle gonna finally come out with, you know, the secrets that he keeps or something today? Oh. Happy birthday. <laughs> oh, hi. You look good. Well, Rico, why don't you tell everybody today is your birthday? No, he didn't abandon just her. She abandoned both of you. I mean, he. My bad. Mm. And it had to be because of her drinking, of course. Because, oh, God, you know, she reminds me of that one character from Magical Girl I think Project who was a fucking drinker. And she had a baby. And, you know, abused the crap out of her baby. And then her husband to the point where her husband was like you know what deuces I can't handle this anymore I'm taking the kid and I'm leaving you and she eventually found her salvation through if you've seen Magical Girl Rising Project or read Magical Girl Rising Project specifically book one um she found the phone or a chance a cute little icon um named Faz or Foz that could turn her into a magical girl and she accepted and then she got happy again but um this is spoilers eventually she dies uh like in the second half of the show yeah mm -hmm. she was one of my least favorite characters she was a bitch mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. school at 14. Aww. Yeah, you know, they come, keep their ass.
so you want to find your father today. Well, I need a good look at you again, and then all pictures. But of course your mom was the one who would sleep around, right? No, because I feel like if you meet your father today, he's not going to want to have anything to do with you. Hmm? Mama's right. Yeah, but at the same time, she's the only person you have right now besides your friends. And if you lose her, that's it. I get the fact that you went to see him. I think she hates you, Rika. Why would you say that? Mm. Yeah. Oh, of course. I mean, come on now. I mean, at least she's being honest, though. It's better than lying through her face. There's got to be something else I'm missing. Hi. Oh, of course, she's the main character. She is like the Madoka of this show in a way. <laughs> okay, like. Mm -hmm. So in a way you two are gonna have a lot more things in common. Honestly, I think that too with my mom. But I don't hate my mom, though. Yeah, sometimes she pisses me off. And this is the same thing with any other kid. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, let's just go home and talk to her tomorrow. Oh, I know. It, you know what? That's okay. You're being honest. And some people like that. Yeah, I mean, I do. Some, you know, someone like Lika ain't into it. But someone like, you know, anyone would love to hear what you're honestly, genuinely feeling that and thinking about that moment. It makes you wonder if she was also like that before her sister died. Exactly. So he could be anyone. You know it would be really messed up? If it was Momo's uncle. Oh, Rika. go home and cut herself. No, don't do that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Are you one of those? Oh, God, she is. Oh. Really, bitch? Seriously? Let me, let me not, let me not. I just want to slap the crap out of this girl and be like, oh my god, just wake up, you dumb girl. The things that this teacher has on you, oh my god.
Not good. Jesus, the cult bastard, no. Come on, Rika, fight it, please. I don't know. I mean, okay, you know what that kind of reminded me of with that sentence? I'm saying, like, all my, all, the only thing men want is pussy. But, okay, I get you. Yeah, yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. So it, it, she not gonna get saved. She just like a, a lost cause or something.
Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if one of these four possibly dies from, you know, the next episode later on. this music. I love it. That's one of my personal faves. In a way, both of them do have abandonment issues, especially more her mom and such. And then, of course, Rika, especially with her father. And, you know, maybe one day whatever else they're possibly going to do with this series, I'm guessing maybe this series might possibly have a manga. Maybe, you know, um, Rika might meet her father, but to have an episode, another episode, um, focusing on Enrico was really interesting. Even though she's like my third favorite character, yeah, really interesting, different. I just, I can't imagine and I can't think of. I can't say it like that because I, I might trigger somebody. So I'm not going to say what I want to say. Um, I just, I feel bad for her. That's all I'm going to say. Everybody has their own way of recovering and dealing and coping with the situation. Um, how I found out pretty recently. Um, one time that even my mom was depressed and my mom was thinking about, you know, killing herself. And thank God that she didn't. It's the one thing that, like, I have, like, one friend, like, right now who, oh, God. Okay, so I have a friend, and no, it is not me, because, you know, everybody who always says, I have a friend, and people automatically think it is them. It ain't me, but I have a friend who is um, somewhat close to me. We're close, but... Um, but yeah, 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 we're really close, but not to, I, I think, to the point, even though we live, um, miles away from each other. I live in Florida, and she lives in, um, Nevada. And she told me recently, with the situation that she has dealing with at her job and her, um, manager and everything, it gets a little too much for her, and that she cuts herself and I, I really me honestly like especially when someone says that they're doing that I don't personally like to talk about it and such but there's a reason why so many people especially you know teenagers up to maybe young adults do it because they're not um getting attention at home it's stress it's so many other things and stuff we've all been like in a way depressed but not to I, I would say for me like yeah I've been depressed at times but not to the point where I um harm myself because I have a different way of coping everybody has a different way of coping and with Rika it, for that it was for Rika and such I really honestly thought I was like for a moment I was like damn this the teacher has her ha ha like captured and I'm like oh my god they really about to kill somebody up in this bitch. We about to have three girls for the rest of this damn series. And I don't know how they're going to like have. Hold on Cody I'm almost done. Um, Have the other three cope. But it still feels like to me it's a possibility that one of them could still die. And then whoever does die they're going to you know maybe watch over them. And then yes the other three are going to have to cope over it. Come here dog. Um but whoever you're over there come here whoever it is or if it doesn't happen because honestly i love these four so freaking much and i don't want to see a situation like you know 
<clears throat> Madoka or any other type of series where someone close, someone else who's in this certain group of friends possibly passes away and then everybody is mourning them to the point where it gets really, really despair inducing and what else can you do? But I, I feel bad for Rika in the situations that she has. But like I said, I, I hope one day she's able to actually find, um, her father, she does have, like, because this is kind of the same with me, even though, like, I can still talk to my dad now, even though my parents are divorced. Because, you know, I'm, like, I'm now the age I am. But they ha they've they only been divorced for, like, a couple of years now. And at first, like, I didn't want to have anything to do with my father. Now it's kind of, like, I still want to have a relationship with him and everything. But there are times where, like, it, it gets a little complicated and ish but it, it's the norm and you have to kind of you know adapt to the situation and everything i hate the fact that you know she also said that you know she doesn't really like her mom that much i mean yes her mom's a heavy drinker and everything and i was thinking i was like oh okay i was like thinking yeah your mom is a deadbeat drunk um it seems like she's drunk 24 7 so you don't always get that like time with her but anytime when she's at the line of drunk and sober um especially you know her them comforting each other and it's, it was sweet and it's genuine and I hope that their relationship is a little bit better by the end of this series and same thing for the rest of the girls and you know family matters and edge but just gotta wait and see but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode seven of wonder egg priority if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially y'all next tuesday for episode eight bye guys